All right, guys, welcome in. Um, so today I'm going to be lecturing you about my plate. Um, so first things first, I need you guys to go ahead and go on to Google Classroom. Um, I don't have it posted at the time of recording, but you're gonna go into whatever that you're in, go into classwork, uh, go under quarter two, week two, uh, with your assignment, you should have your weekly assignment, and then you should also have the separate assignment. So, for instance, like under week 10, you have the weekly assignment here, and then you had the Cell Energy CE. Instead, it'll be the My Plate document, and this is what we're going to use for today um, under, you know, day three. So, once you get that up, uh, it's important for you to know that this is recorded obviously. So if you ever need to pause or go back, you're more than welcome to. Um, you take this at your own pace, all right? So we're, uh, these slides are also going to be in the PDF form attached to Google Classroom as well. Uh, I'm going to release these separately if you want to go over them on your own. So why is a healthy diet important? First of all, obviously, it's going to let you manage weight. It helps you prevent overweight uh, or obesity and being overweight. It reduces the risk of chronic diseases, so diseases that happen periodically and for a long time throughout your life. It reduces the risk of early mortality, so it helps you not die early, which is great. And it gives you a better quality of life, okay? So, what is my plate? What is this thing we were talking about today? Well, it is a healthy eating style, okay? And it shows you the five food groups. So on this, this is my plate, right? So it shows you the fruits, your vegetables, your grains, your protein, and your dairy on the side. And it's visual. It helps you see what you're going to be eating. And it's a dietary guideline for Americans, okay? What are the updates for it? So first, it helps you find your healthy eating style for your lifetime, not just like for the next few years, but for your entire life. It'll let you look at it going forward, okay? It helps you to focus on variety, amount, and nutrition. And you should be focusing on limiting your calories from saturated fat, sodium, and added sugars and helps you shift to healthier food and beverage choices. And it supports a healthy eating style for everyone, okay? So number one, healthy eating styles. So it accounts for all foods and beverages, so it's not just looking at, you know, what you're eating in one day, it's, it's talking about all of them. And it wants you to go for an appropriate calorie level. And everything over time matters, and it's only going to make you healthier. Number two, variety, amount, and nutrition. So variety, you want to choose from all five of the different groups. You don't want to just have a bunch of grain. You don't want to just like eat a bunch of bread all day. You want to be able to eat, you know, your fruits, your vegetables, uh, protein, grain, and dairy but you need to eat it at the right amount okay now in america our amounts are very large or way larger than normal people to where if you went to a like a european country and you got something then you're gonna be like what is this this is not food this is a snack news flash we should be eating a lot less we should be eating that snack we're eating way too much as is. And we want to focus on nutrition. So we want to build a healthy eating style to maintain weight and reduce the risk of disease. So here are the tips. This is about what your plate should look like. You should have about a quarter be whole fruits, maybe a little less, but you want more varied vegetables, okay? You want varied amounts of vegetables because all of them have different nutrients and uh, vitamins 
for you? Uh, the whole grains are important. This is like where you get most of your carbs. Um, and you want to vary your protein. Not all proteins are healthy for you. Uh, and they all give you kind of different things. And you don't want like full fat dairy. Uh, you want low fat dairy. We also want to be looking at limiting the SOFAs, uh, which is the saturated fats, sugars, and sodium. Okay, so saturated in fat and trans fat eventually do lead to heart disease. We want to replace them with healthy unsaturated fats. So not, contrary to popular belief, not all fats are bad. As we learned in uh, either Wednesday or Thursday, one of the biomolecules, one of the um, macromolecules is lipids, which are fats. Uh, and they're healthy for you. You just need to get the healthy ones, which are unsaturated fats. So that's what you should be looking for. Um, added sugars. So sugars just add calories, which lets you gain weight. And I know sugar tastes good, but it's not the best thing. So what you should be choosing is water instead or 100% juice or fruit if you're going to have dessert. Fruit has a lot of sugar in it in itself, and it's sweet. Maybe not as sweet as like ice cream, but try and choose fruit for dessert uh, if you're looking for a dessert. Sodium, while it helps food taste good, uh, in too much, it's going to raise your blood pressure, which can lead to hypertension. Um, instead of just seasoning with salt, try and season with spices and herbs instead um because you know they they can give you the good flavor too it's just not as risky as salt you should be looking to shift to healthier choices so if you're going to eat bread you shouldn't be eating white bread white bread has no nutrients it's literally just uh literally just carbs it's not giving you anything Whole wheat bread, on the other hand, has a whole lot of like nutrients and stuff like that that you can be using. Um, you should be looking to vary your protein. So like instead of a fatty cut of meat, you should be looking to get like seafood, seafood or beans or like mushrooms. All of these things have like high proteins. Switch to low fat dairy. Um, this lowers your saturated fats. And that was bad as we talked about above. With your oils, you should be looking to maybe, instead of use butter, use olive oil. Um, and instead of ice cream, maybe have some homemade smoothies instead of added sugars. Um, let me just tell you, my mom got a um, one of those high-tech blenders like 10 years ago. Oh man, our smoothies, are like Jamba Juice caliber because of it. Um, that thing, you know, it eats up all of the stuff. There's like no chunks because of it. So I would say one of the life lessons I've learned is invest in a good blender. <laughs> uh, lower salt. So instead of potato chips, maybe eat some unsalted nuts. And that also it varies your proteins, right? So we want to focus on creating a healthy eating for all. So create settings where healthy choices are available and affordable to you and others in the community. So I want to take this question and have you guys like, I think there's a question on your worksheet. So how can you help your community? How are you going to help create healthy eating for all, or at least a healthy lifestyle for everyone? So. For physical activity, you should be choosing activities you like to do, whether they be aerobic, so like running, swimming, things like that. Uh, muscle strengthening, so that obviously like lifting weights, bone strengthening or balance and stretching. I don't know what bone strengthening exercises are. Honestly, gonna be, gonna be honest, if you do, um, more power to you. But balance and stretching, that's basically yoga, right? or probably like gymnastics. 
So what you should be doing is at least 10 minutes of workout per at a time. And you should have up to 60 minutes of moderate to rigorous activity per day. Okay. Um, now you can do that all at once. You can do that six times uh, because you should be getting 10 minutes at a time, right? Um, or you could do it in like three 20 minute sessions, whatever works for you. So um, there should be an activity on your page with uh, like a table with the different food groups and like a bunch of different foods. So take the time now to sort the foods into the correct food groups. Uh, go ahead, pause the video now until you have finished that. I'm gonna give like a five minute buffer. I mean, five second. Oh God. Okay. I'm waving my hands a lot right now to get your attention if you're looking to like, I don't know, <laughs> look for the next slide. All right. So here are the answers. So under grains, you should have brown rice, oatmeal, potato, bread, granola, blueberry bagels. Um, so that's obviously your breads, right? Vegetables are gr the collard greens, asparagus, kale, cauliflower, sweet potato. Fruits are avocado. Bet you didn't know that was a fruit. Uh, that's not true. You probably knew it. Uh, bananas, 100% juice counts as a fruit, but it's got to be pure juice, like just squeezed lemons or just squeezed orange juice. Oh, God. Let me tell you, I don't like orange juice, but like freshly squeezed orange juice, that is my jam, guys. Uh, prunes and nectars, obviously fruits. Dairy is frozen yogurt, strawberry milk, almond milk, Swiss cheese. I don't know. It's, oh, strawberry flavored milk. Uh, peanut butter, black beans, ribs, eggs, canned salmon, and sausage are all proteins. And then all of this stuff on the side, obviously bad for you. Although cream cheese, I did not know, was under that and not a dairy. Hmm. The more you know. Um, so go ahead. There should be another activity there. So list your fo food choices for today. And then make your goals to improve your eating powers tomorrow. If you have any questions on this, go ahead and email them to me or comment on your Google Classroom um, assignment and let me know. Uh, thanks, guys, for watching this and hope you have a great weekend. All right. Peace out, guys.